Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about an interesting topic for Purple and Ralphie. Um, I want to talk to you about diet sodas and how they will can affect the Purple and Ralphie. I had a patient, an individual, talk to me and was talking to you, to me about Purple and Ralphie and says, okay, is this an, something that you want to talk that is important or should I eliminate this? And he was talking about it because of diet, because he was trying to decide what to do to improve his nutrition levels. And the idea is that I says, okay, um, there are definitely some things that we should do to help with your peripheral neuropathy. So I decided I would do this video to give this information to additional individuals that are looking to understand if diet soda is a problem or not. So first things first, any type of soda, diet soda, non-diet soda, uh, What's the effect of carbonation on the nerves? Is there something that can actually happen with the nerves? And they've, they've actually shown that the carbon dioxide in the fizzy drinks can stimulate the same pain, pain sensors as mustard or horseradish. So carbonation can actually increase the discomfort. There was a study run in 2010 that sets off, can cause more discomfort, more nerve pain from sciatica or so for peripheral neuropathy through just the carbonation. So you may be having more pain because you're drinking something with carbonation. Number two, diet sodas. There is an effect of diet sodas. Aspartame, the, the most common used artificial sweetener in diet sodas, interacts with the neurons in your body and heightens your perception of pain. So because of the aspartame, you're actually having an increase in pain from the peripheral neuropathy, and your that perception of pain is going to be higher. And by eliminating the diet sodas, uh, this will reduce some of the chronic pain that you have from peripheral neuropathy. If that were the only reason, you say, okay, I'm going to eliminate diet sodas. And you say, okay, how about if I just eliminate diet sodas and use normal sodas? I know, I understand the carbonation problem, but what about just diet sodas? Sugars, of course have been shown to cause some negative effects on the nerves as well. And so sometimes you may want to do the sh limit the sugars as well that are going to be happening in those sodas. But what if it's a caffeinated soda? Is there any effect of caffeine on the nerves themselves? There's a study run in 2006 that said that there may be some analgesic effects of the caffeine on the nerves may decrease the pain and so forth in that. And so there was, there's been some questions about if you administer caffeine in the right dosage, if it can cause some benefits for chronic pain. Or, uh, and the truth is, as you expand some of the blood vessels the, in the head, for example, you can eliminate headaches using caffeine and so caffeine is utilized in that respect but then it comes down to researchers saying okay caffeine can improve can significantly improve blood flow in certain areas and help in healthy individuals even they're even saying that it may improve it 30 percent over a 75 minute period and can improve again for example the the peripheral circulation to the fingers and to the toes. Um, but then you go into this a little bit further and you say, okay, but it depends on the amount of caffeine you're taking in. If you're taking large amounts of caffeine, there is a negative effect that also happens. Badly, don't the, forget to take in fact, I apologize. I'm not your trash what's, man, Mom. What's and happening? You're treating me like Sorry about that. The the side effect there is sometimes you can actually have some of these negative effects from the caffeine as well because of a direct it's a direct antagonism to the vascular effects of adenosine so the release of adenosine will cause the vasodilation and vasoconstriction changes that happen from nitrous oxide so, but with caffeine, you're going to have a, a significant more vasoconstriction, especially in the peripheral nervous system. 
or the peripheral vascular system. The peripheral nervous system or where peripheral neuropathy is affecting is the fingers and toes and the peripheral areas. These are also the peripheral vessels. And if you decrease or you vasoconstrict these vessels, you're going to decrease the blood flow to these areas. And that's the reason why caffeine will also in, oftentimes increase blood pressure. So simplify it. Okay, so I just, I said, I threw a whole bunch of stuff at you, right? So three things, carbonation can increase pain because of some of the effects that it has on the neurons and nerves. A, what is it? The aspartame, sorry about that. Aspartame has been shown to directly affect the neurons and make you more sensitive and your nerve neuroperception is higher in those kind of situations. Caffeine, although in some respects will improve blood flow in some areas, has been shown to decrease blood flow in the peripheral areas and increase blood pressure. Basically, one of the causes of peripheral neuropathy, peripheral neuropathy symptoms, is the poor blood flow to those nerves. And so if you decrease, if you vasoconstrict the blood flow to those nerves, you're going to have an increase in some of the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy. So my recommendation would be that you say, okay, I'm going to reduce the diet sodas that I'm taking, even if you just reduce, not eliminate, but reduce, you're going to find that you're going to have less side effects and less of the problems that come with peripheral neuropathy. Caffeine consumption can decrease the blood flow to the nerves. Aspartame can increase the pain sensation, the pain threshold, and you actually have more pain and carb carbonation can actually stimulate the nerves to have more pain. So decreasing this will improve your peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Grant Gibson, and this is your neuropathy nugget day 98 diet sodas and their direct effect on peripheral neuropathy. So diet sodas, I don't recommend them. I recommend if you have peripheral neuropathy that you eliminate them because they will become a problem for your peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Grant Gibson. Have a great day.